how was you affected by the recent reshuffle? Obviously, as the Prime Minister's advisor, I had an input to that. You know, I, I offered my advice to the Prime Minister on that. Um, some of which he took and some of which he didn't, but that's the nature of being an advisor. Um, so I was involved at, 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 that, at that level. And then, on, at, on being on the receiving end of the reshuffle, I discussed with the Prime Minister that I wanted to do more in government. I felt I could, as well as the job I was doing, working with him and with my base in Downing Street, I also wanted to do more on the floor of the House. I wanted to do more legislatively. I wanted to get them out of the country more. And he decided on that basis to make me the Minister of State at the Department of Transport, uh, which is very exciting because it means I can retain my role at the heart of government number 10, but also uh, be in the Department of Transport too, which is an incredibly powerful combination. And I'm very, uh, very excited about that, very grateful, very proud of the chance, um, very conscious of the need to do my best. Mm. And so, with the new role, what are your plans for the near future and the long term future? The near future, to learn as much as I can about the new brief. Mm. Uh, last week I was in a series of pretty heavy duty meetings, learning about a whole range of things I'm now going to be responsible for. I'm going to be responsible for all the major road projects in the country. So uh, there are many of those, about 33 I think, uh, major projects. I'm speaking about major railroads, trunk route, motorways, so on and so forth, uh, across the whole of the kingdom. So learning about all of that, learning about the challenges we face in, in uh, maintaining those schemes, in, uh, and in completing them is, is going to be really, it was really, it's going to be really challenging. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm also responsible for the infrastructure bill, which is coming before the House, uh, Houses of Parliament, uh, in the Commons that is, in the autumn, it's already started in the House of Lords. Uh, it's a major piece of legislation which covers a whole range of government departments and a whole range of areas. It's being led from the Department of Transport, and I'm the Ministry is going to be taking that through the House. So that's going to be a very real responsibility, perhaps the biggest bill this government introduces uh, in the whole of its five-year term. So uh, yeah. when you think about that, in terms of its scope at least, yeah. when you think about that, that's a big responsibility, and for, to be given that responsibility is, a, yeah, is a, obviously a great privilege. Uh, an honour and a joy. Uh, I'm also responsible for maritime policy, so that includes all our ports, our coast guards, uh, our search and rescue. Uh, so all of that uh, is being briefed on as well. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that when you get a new portfolio, mm -hmm. uh, the first thing you do, your short-term aim, as you put it, is simply to absorb the material, uh, to identify what the principal pinch points are, what the principal opportunities are, uh, where the possible pitfalls, where the, the big opportunities lie, uh, and to start to uh, come to terms with all of that. So that's my first objective. Uh, my long-term objective, of course, is to do all I can uh, to ensure that the legislative programme works for the benefit of the country. And this big bill, mm. I hope to take through the House uh, in a shape that means that we've got good new legislation allows us to do good and positive things. Mm -hmm.